Military handlers and their working dogs have a uniquely strong and close relationship, and that bond is key when deployed on military operations. Preparing for that is essential, and the canine biathlon designed to test fitness, skill and trust is a perfect opportunity. The bond between the animal and the handler is, is really important, and events like this really fuse that bond be, be, between the two. Facing a variety of obstacles which mimic potential scenarios they could face whilst on military deployment, dog teams showcase their partnership whilst enjoying a bit of competition. My God! We learn the strengths and weaknesses of the dog, uh, different ob obstacles that it can uh, uh, go over, under. So Santos struggled with the water, so now we need to know, now we know he needs to work on water obstacles, getting him in and out of rivers. Definitely uh, one that he did not enjoy. <laughs> it's good fitness as well for the handler and the dog. Um, it's a good bonding exercise as well for the handler and the dog. It's good doing stuff like this because he's getting to know me and we're working together. It's quite a distance as well, so definitely good for building your relationship between you and, well, of course, fitness. It's quite good uh, if you go on operational tours, you need to carry him over obstacles or you need to go through river crossings uh, or if he happens to get injured and you need to carry him a certain distance to the nearest vet, then it's quite, it's quite useful to learn these skills. After seven kilometres, both the handler and dog are feeling wet, cold and tired and a warm shower for both is highly deserved. Amy Matthews, Forces News in Germany.